it was bedtime for the little red chicken. Okay, my little chicken, said Papa. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa, but you forgot something. What's that? asked Papa. A bedtime story. Well, Papa agrees to read little chicken a story, but only if she promises not to interrupt. But whenever Papa starts a story, little chicken gets too excited and interrupts, telling Hansel and Gretel not to go into the witch's house or Little Red Riding Hood not to talk to strangers. Well, Papa is very patient with chicken, but pretty soon they run out of stories. Will Papa ever get chicken to bed? And can chicken learn to stop interrupting? We'll find out in Interrupting Chicken by David Ezra Stein. Uh, when I was a kid, I went to a puppet show, so, and I think I made my mom take me back like five times in a row because I just fell in love with it. My name is Penny Walter. I am a local puppeteer here in Oregon. I've been doing it for 11 years, and my company is called Penny's Puppet Productions. <sighs> that I get to laugh at work every day. <laughs> That's my favorite part of being a puppeteer, is just um, sharing laughter and um, those joyful moments um, with the families. <laughs> High five, good to be alive. Woo! Thank you. You want to hug too? Yeah, I thought so. Um, first things first, just uh, find one, you just start with one puppet, maybe a little animal puppet, and they can even be quiet, uh, and just start playing. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, of course, the library is a great place to get books, and on the internet there's lots of craft ideas on how to make your own puppets. And so that's where I would start, is just first of all just being very playful and open to um, seeing what each of your puppets can do. <laughs> She keeps on twirling and twirling and twirling and twirling around. She keeps on twirling and twirling and twirling and twirling around. She's never gonna stop. Why would she? She's a princess.